everyone. Welcome to the next vlog. And today I'm going to talk about carbon bars, and specifically the SK Shapes carbon bar. Um, SK Shapes comes from Switzerland and is made by a friend of mine called Stan Koisch. He's been developing this bar together with some other racers and me. And we've been testing this bar for quite some time. I personally have been involved with the testing of this bar since the end of summer. So why would we use a carbon bar? First of all, the obvious one is weight. A bar like this, together with all the lines and all the bits, weighs just about 400 grams. Now, if you look at your normal bar, which will weigh anywhere from one and a half kilos to two kilos, um, that's quite a substantial weight savings. So for example, if you're traveling and you take three bars with you, for example, okay, your normal setup will weigh up to about six kilos just in bars. You take three of these, you're just about at one and a half kilos at the most. So that's already huge savings in weight. Um, when it comes to riding, there are a few things where a super light bar will give you a better feeling for the kite and in a sense it's just also better. Another thing in racing, we like to keep things simple. So we don't really need EVA foam on the, on the grip. We don't need the floaters. We don't need all this extra stuff. We need the bar, our deep power rope, and our deep power system. That's it. And by removing all the extra bits that you have on a normal bar, all the comfortable stuff, let's say, um, we manage to save a lot of weight. And another thing is we have a better connection to the kite. Why? Because a lighter bar, Plus, the bar is stiffer. If you, one of the things you'll notice when you're flying a carbon bar, like for example on a foil kite in really light winds, is that you'll feel that your kite is a lot more connected to you. There is a lot stiffer feedback. It's more direct. I'm not quite sure exactly why that happens. You know, a lot of marketing from other brands will tell you, yes, the lighter bar will have like, you know, you have better turning moment or whatever. Um, I used to be totally against marketing like that, but with, since I've been using the carbon bars, I do feel that I can use a shorter bar um, than I used to with my big kites. Um, this is a 60 cm bar and I use this all the way up to my 19 square meter R1 V2 and I'm very comfortable with this. So there are some small advantages like that where you have a better feel for your kite having a lighter stiffer bar. Another cool thing about this is at least my bars all float without having to have big floaters on the side. So if this is in the water, it'll float. Let's talk a little bit about, well, my bar setup in general and the SK bar. Um, this is probably as close to the final version as you can get. Stan is going to start producing now. And yeah, essentially you have a straight bar piece made out of carbon. It's hollow. So this will actually float because there's actually air inside but it is waterproof. It's completely sealed on the ends. Um, nice little touch on this part, and I think it will be carried through to production, is that um, right and left are noted by different colors on the end caps here. Okay, there's also different color rubbers on mine, so I don't get confused as to what's left and right. Um, what Stan is not going to do is deliver it with a finished uh, release system. Um, you can, he usually delivers it, I think, with a, just a ring on the end. I prefer to have the witchard directly on the deep power rope instead of on the harness. For me, it's more natural because it's a push away system to open the witchard. I really don't feel that I would memorize having to pull again um, like the old days. Um, and then the rest of mine, I have the standard four to one deep power rope system on here. It's pretty much standard. Um, Stan delivers the bar either with uh, a sleeved deep power rope that's um, with sleeved with a PU tube or a naked um, deep power rope. That will just depend on what you want. Um, I've kept um, a safety leash on here. I'm a firm believer that things can go wrong and you should always have a safety line on there even when racing. Yep. Um, you'll see a lot of guys going without safety leashes. It's their choice but I would still prefer to have, be, have the ability to flag my kite out if I need to. The construction on this bar is pretty high end. Um, 
the end caps, the centerpiece um, where your um, deep power rope goes through, and all things, they're all 3D printed. Um, very durable material that's in there. I have not had a lot of wear um, over the months I've been using this. Um, the actual carbon tube itself, where the bar is made out of, it's fairly durable. Um, I don't really take care of it that much, so it's bouncing around the back of my van and say, you know, it's lying on the beach, and it really hasn't been scraped up that much. Um, the centerpiece is secured by having two extra carbon pins that are stuck through the centerpiece so that it's actually got a solid connection um, to the outside tube. Um, besides the fact that it's already also glued in with epoxy um, internally. Um, the end caps are obviously um, glued in with epoxy so they're waterproof. The end pieces are actually um, hollow pins that are going all the way through the, the bar to the end. Um, you can see here I can sort of pull out my leader line. So when you're adjusting your bar, you can actually just you know, add knots as you need and so on. Yep, I've used this, like I said, I've used this bar for a long time. And it's actually really hard to go back to using any other bars um, nowadays. I use this bar for almost all my foiling nowadays, um, for the free riding too. It's just such a nicer feel to have less in your hands and that director feel from the bar, even with the tube kites. Um, and in general fact, these carbon bars, they're not super expensive. If you look at um, your normal bar prices nowadays, um, spending around 250, 270 euros on a carbon bar is not a major thing. Um, for a fully loaded production bar for most every brand, you're paying at least 470, 500 euros um, and more for some of the more special bars on the market at the moment. You can put in um, any chicken loop system that you want really um, and then you have a super light bar combined with a standard safety system so it'll also be great for your general free riding and so on as long as you're okay with not having all the extra things like EVA foam etc but these are things you can get used to so if saving weight and having the lightest bar uh, possible is important to you um, I really recommend getting one of these bars um, initially, I was not 100% convinced, but now that I've used it for a few months, I'm 100% on board. Right, I hope uh, this has given you a bit of an insight to carbon bars and the SK Shapes bar, and uh, I'll see you next time. Have fun on the water.